what kind of card do you expect to get? I mean, and of course, it's not as if you get something like a catapult or so. I, I guess I maybe like Vesta over Escarpment because having two steel and two titanium seems maybe a little stronger than having three steel, one titanium. Especially if we get consortium, we have a way to beef this back up. Um, and getting consortium is par for the course yeah. here. All right, so you like these four? Yeah, I like these four. Double check my math. 60 minus 12 is 48, and this is 36 plus 12. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's go for it. And just we have to dodge, like, sabotage, which would suck, but... Uh, no, <laughs> the card that would suck the most is energy tapping. And you don't like you don't like Inventrix here. Right? Oh, yeah, energy tapping would suck too. Yeah, this I is mean, not, uh, not a very Inventrix good. Inventrix is kind of bad because, because you cannot play a strip mine. Okay, one. here we go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a really good start, I would say, if you don't get energy tapped. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we'll see. I um, sabotage and those hate cards are are devastating early in the game, and we're playing against good opponents. So hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully we can dodge them. Yeah. It's uncomfortable having only four cards as Teractor. This is very rare. I feel like with Teractor, you can usually leverage that sixty cash to just be really greedy and keep a lot. But uh, this is pretty nuts. I mean, we kind of traded some cards for getting Strip Mine Gen 1. Which yeah. I think it's fine. It's, yeah, I mean. It's a lot of money. Yeah, it's good. Then we, we just need to be like a little bit more aggressive with keeping cards. Yeah. And we need. We, we, I, I'm afraid our opponents will, will certainly lock out card draw from us, which we're going to be desperate for after having this strong of an economy. Yeah, but they may not have the chance to do that. No, I guess we should look at. Oh man, that escarpment would have been pretty good, huh? Mining guild player with four cards. Thorgate with five. Well, I, I don't know. I, mean, I, 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 some, get, I guess some you... games mining yeah. guild players tend to have a lot of steel anyway. That's true. So they yeah. Want steel they... tender, when steel production doesn't do all well. Yeah, that's that's very true. Mining guilds steel scaling can get pretty out of hand. And then it's not great for us. I mean, we pay nine cash for one steel production, and we don't even get attacked for it. I'm I'm pretty nervous about Th Thorgate um, potentially having the power supply consortium. I guess that takes a second power tag to play. Yeah, but um, also have, but also have energy tapping. Yeah. Well, at least he doesn't have strip mine because he kept five cards, so he could he could play strip mine with his own project power. Yeah, Interesting. Okay, you good to microbes? You have to. Yeah. Fortunately. At least we know we, we can't get um steel escarpment, which is good. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, we, we have <laughs> we have to dodge a little bit of hate from Thorgate. Um I wonder I actually like standard tech as Thorgate, because um getting energy for five is pretty good. Although t yeah. You know, you have to use it three times to to make it break even. But it's also a science tag. Well, I think you can base your strategy on just buying energy. For sure. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's if that's what they do. And if, if they get cards like power infrastructure or... We have to be on the lookout for an, for an oxygen bumper. Because um, those cards just absolutely crank the pace of the game. So, like, what you can do with Stargate is if you have stun attack, you can, like, only keep stun attack and uh, buy energy for the first three gens. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have 16 energy production at the end of gen three. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean... Know, I'm not saying it's, like, a totally insane strategy or whatever. But... As, as cute as that is, I think players with good cards just outscale that. Um, but But that is, like, a... A good way to just to make a lot of heat and yeah I mean, energy well, you, is you make a lot of heat and well, of course you uh, yeah. like have the possibility to get like one of the oxygen bumpers or something like that 
I think Thorgate is, is like a little bit underrated as a cork because I, I have come around to believing that like energy is is probably the type of production that I'm most excited about because you can just do so much with it. Yeah. All right, nice. We're in the clear. So we're going to do Solar Wind, Strip Mine, yeah? Yeah. I kind of feel like we already put a target on ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, that is the tough part because about gotta, uh, jumping out to a fast. I mean, let's be honest. We're we're the we're the stream team. We already have the target on our backs. Yeah. True. So I, I noticed that always when I play with my, my main column. Yeah. I, I I get like a lot of hate when I played on my Smurf. That was I don't know. It was like much more chilling. Because. <laughs> They kind of like hated each other and so on. Yeah, I'm I'm a little surprised to hear that you get hated on your main account because I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, I guess if you're playing against people that you know, then you're gonna get hated on. But against against a bunch of randos, they probably don't know know who like any of the top players are. Yeah, but I mean, I usually try not to play against randoms. Yeah, that's fair play against other high rated opponents. Yeah, so okay, I this game early prediction is that this game goes to ten. He almost certainly has steelworks or ironworks or or processor. Yeah, he probably I think he might have. Um, but then th there might be like a world where you don't have like great opening hand. Um, yeah. So, we're passing the mining guild, and none of these cards really scare me except for the the one scary card. You good with mass converter? Yeah, for sure. I guess passing him cheap power could come back to bite us a little bit, but we already have the science tag down, and mass converter is, I mean, is insane. Mass converter is always scary and could be really good for us too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 We already have one science deck, so I think we should keep it for sure. The problem is these guys are gonna a science is gonna be competitive, I bet, this game. It's a little bit of an issue that we are not well set up for any milestones. Yeah, I don't know if anyone is though. I think reservoir here. Um, if we if we could snag that two card spot, that would be really nice. Yeah, definitely. We need cards so badly. Hey, what's up, McLeod? Hey, thanks, man. Um, just doing my best to to keep climbing up. Top ten is is next in sight. To be fair, I feel like a lot of the really good players of this game just like don't play anymore. Um, but hey, I'll take it. I think if we if we well, pull I mean, out, it's, it's it's kind of like summer period and. Like Corona's yeah. sort of ending. Well, well, it's not ending, but he's kind of getting there. It's much more loose now. Uh, I probably like Comet here. It used to be, yeah, Comet. You good with that? Um, I think we should keep it, actually. We don't have a lot to do. Oh, of course. I mean, worst case scenario, we can play it later in the game when we have like Mass Converter and more space discounts down. But like... Space terraforming cards are are especially good if the game is going short because they are like the most efficient ways to terraform, in my opinion. Yeah. All right. So you want to take these three? Yeah. That gives us enough to to play subterranean. Cool. Uh. Hey. Thanks. Yeah. I. Uh, I'm glad too. I'm glad. It, it it happened sooner than I thought. I thought. Well, first of all, I thought there was there's certainly no guarantee I was ever going to make it into the top twenty, and then it just um. I don't know. We just had. Had a lot of good games on this stream and it, and it worked out and having filter around has, has definitely helped because I've, I've learned a ton from playing with him so it really is a team effort both with filter and with and with all you guys watching and and uh, making suggestions we could, also, we could actually also grab two titanium and play with Vesta. yeah it's not a bad idea so if, if no one takes the two I don't know uh, man I, I kind of uh, yeah, yeah, that, we could, it's a better economic so, so my play. Thought was, yeah, yeah, my thought was, if no one takes the two cards, I see. we can take it next gen. Yeah. 
Oh, interesting. He didn't, um... And also, it's, it's a spot for mining go to. That's true. So the idea is, is um, take the Titanium, play Vesta, and then ideally next gen we can Comet for the uh, two cards. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I like it. I'm with that. Alternatively? Uh, I, don't know. I mean, do you want... Uh, get... <laughs> No, I, I, I think it's a good line. Yeah, I think it's I yeah, think it's good. Fine. And just play Vesta right away before we get hit. Yeah. So the alternative line would have been play Comet now to snack the heat bump. Sure. Take parts. But I think this is fine too. I, I like I like this is a. I think they're both pretty valuable, but um, maybe it was too greedy to not take the cards but to your point if mining guild because mining guild is in the game i think this is quite strong if mining guild is not in the game i think the line of just taking the cards is maybe a little bit better yeah valedictorian is a strange player um i mean we've played a handful of games with him on this stream and he's i think for the most part played like quite well he uh, he beat us yesterday although granted <laughs> if you watch that game it was a pretty miserable miserable start Oh, see, nice. Uh, but then, yeah, we lose we lose that asteroid. But it makes you wonder if he, he would have taken... I feel like we gimped him a little bit by doing that. Um, yeah, I mean, he only got one super production now. He really likes... Well, I mean, I really like Thorgate, too. I think, I think Thorgate is a little underrated. I mean, they have 48 starting cash, which is quite good. A starting energy, which is quite good. And then, the ma like, a massive 3 discount on all power cards, of which there are many valuable power cards in the deck. Um, they've really grown on me as a corp. Okay, he's water splitting. That's too bad. All right. Yeah, Mining Ghost has a pretty good start, I would say. I, both of, I think Thorgate's even scarier. Thorgate has an O2 bumper and card draw. And, um, yeah, Mining Guild has great, great production. Yeah, that's true. They both had a good start. Yeah, yeah right. He played the weapon center. It's actually the card I'm probably even more afraid of than water splitting. I mean, in, in tandem, they're, they're both so good because... Yeah. Until we can start, Definitely. what like we got to figure out a way to draw cards. Like either, um, well, this is pretty interesting. I, a lot of good cards here. I I actually I I almost wonder if if towing comet is better than eco zone here. Just for, like, I don't just, like Ecos on this game very much because the oxygen is going up so quickly. Right, and I, I think carving out as many of those points as possible is good for us. And also, we can take we can take the card with the ocean, which isn't bad. Yeah, but we also have the other comet. Forget about that. We're passing to Thorgate, so Thorgate probably takes. He could consider city. I'm afraid Mining Guild gets this city. Maybe that's not the end of the world. It's too weak to hate draft this card because I, I don't have too much respect yeah, for it. I don't like the underground city that much. I don't know. I'm kind of on the comet train if you are. It is, we have to keep in mind that we passed Eco Zone. But I think the game ends so fast that it's hard to get value out of that. I'm not sure if this game is ending so fast because no one is producing heat yet. True. I mean, this card certainly has the highest upside. And uh, it's really tough for our opponents to play Comet. There's actually a good chance Comet could wheel. If That's true. Maybe we do take Ecozone. Yeah, yeah. You want to do that? I think it's better, actually. The trick is, is getting a greenery do, down. But... Um, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it, if that's cool with you. What about investment, though? I mean, it's a good card, but like, economy yeah, is not cost to pay. economy yeah. is not our problem this game. Our problem is is having playable cards. Yeah, let's take Eco Zone. It's hard to pass that as as Teractor, but 
We gotta figure out a way to score points. Okay, guild, we have to take guild here, right? Yeah, definitely. Guild's so good. I'm kind of amazed that came to us. Makes me a little nervous what was passed. But that's like the perfect card for us. Works it also towards... helps us getting closer to Nascan Goro. Yeah, exactly. I think I think this gen, we are we going to be able to afford <clears throat> guild and drawing a card from the ocean? That would be kind of nice. Probably, probably think... not. Guild's pretty expensive. Guild basically costs 12 if you want to buy the card from it. Yeah. But I think guild is more important than the two extra cash that we get from, from common. I agree, especially because we're incentivized to hold this until we can get discounts down. Probably cut virus or or even keep it. Yeah. I don't have a ton of respect for Tropical Resort, especially this early in the game. Um, I mean, we're passing... Yeah. We also... yeah. You're passing to Thorgate, so I don't think it's a consideration. Yeah, if it was passing the Mining Guild, maybe we'd take it. I'm gonna grab yeah, Virus. Exactly. Okay, that was an okay draft. Investment loan will be back. I bet you money it's a Comet. If it's Investment loan, we take... Or, oh, wow, City came back. Interesting. I'm a little surprised Mining Guild didn't take that. It's just not a good card. Like, I don't know. Well, especially because we we already passed him like peroxide power, um, and I mean this this increases his steel production by three basically and gives him uh, space to play greeneries. But yeah, I agree that generally I don't like this card. Um, you get to take he, these three. He has quite a lot of steel production already. Um, you could. We can do better than underground city. I mean, you might be able to play it eventually no i don't i don't want to keep underground city i want to keep these first three cards yeah okay cool i mean yeah it would be nice as a way to use our steel but i, I mean we, we just got card draw we're gonna find better use uses for our steel all right i'm gonna play guild yeah yeah So, at least there are two good ocean spots. So, if someone takes the card, we can get four money. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not the end of the world if um, we want to start using our oceans to get the, the good plant oceans. It'd be kind of nice to have some... To get a playable city. Like, like Cupola would be a good pickup if we found power and we could, like, drop the ocean, play it over there for the ocean bonus. Titania... Uh-oh. Consortium incoming. He has enough to, to hit us with it. Oh, come on. No. Come on. <laughs> so I think we should have we should have looked at the card immediately. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I guess we uh, didn't need to slow play there since there's nothing that we're really um, concerned no, about I mean, doing. I, 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 I wasn't serious about it. Just oh, well, which cards you're getting. Yeah, that sucks. We're we're in like pretty bad milestone shape too. Like we're gonna lose planner probably. Oh, we didn't get consortium. That's nice. Builder's gonna be tough. I feel like everyone got like a really good start. Yeah. So it kind of makes it all good start. And with mining yeah. guild in the game, like other this could be in most circumstances an early miner fund, but definitely not with mining guild around. I don't know what we fund. I mean if we can stay ahead in scientists that would be good, but none of these are looking really good right now. I guess yeah. there's some universe where we get Gardener if we get a little bit of help, and we can um, kind of control those two plant oceans. But uh, that seems like a long shot for now. Mm. 
Okay. So he is terraforming and now competing for builder. Yep. There's gonna be so much competition on the building tags. What's up, Frank? No, we're number thirteen right now. And uh, this game is interesting. Well, that's arrow breaking. So mining's pretty good too. Yeah, we have to take arrow breaking. What I mean, the good the good news is I'm happy about all of these cards. I think harvest. Yeah, definitely. I think harvest comes back, um, but they're all good. But I think we we have yeah. to take arrow breaking. You good with that? Yeah. Although we do need to find, I guess we need to find one more science tag. Uh, yeah, I gotta take, you gotta take giant ice here, I think. Like, the way this game is going, and with arrow breaking in hand, I think this is better than gene repair. And we cannot play gene repair yet anyway. Exactly. It helps, it helps us to get to... This helps with the potential gardener line if we nice converter. if we can get any more help in that avenue. It helps us just get it, it. Honestly, if big if giant asteroid comes back or big asteroid or whatever, we're we're actually a serious terraformer threat. Yeah. So I think we take this. Yeah. Sure. Well, these suck. Um, these are pretty garbage. I'm maybe more inclined to cut this because it's a building tag. Yeah, I actually don't think this tag, is, this card is quite as bad as you, you think it is. Um, especially when our opponents are making steel. But we're not going to, we're probably not going to keep it. Did you see that they're, they're, they're changing that card? They're like, they're like increasing the cost, but also giving it a tile and in, in some other stuff. Yeah, I saw that. So I, I personally think it should be 4 TR, not 3 TR. Yeah. Be okay card. So harvest came back. So, so I th I think we can keep these three. Four. Yeah. Agree. That would leave us with twenty one cash and four titanium. So that's um. Twenty one plus sixteen is thirty seven. So so we could play like arrow breaking into comet. It's not enough to play arrow breaking into giant ice. Yeah. Be so, okay with that. Like we don't need to rush it. Yeah, it's true. I guess I guess we're gonna we're gonna buy a card anyway. Do you want to keep Harvest? Is this maybe just like not good enough? Of course. Yeah. Oh, uh, of course we could. Yeah, we don't have any, any any energy at the moment. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we need. We don't have any power. We don't have a lot of cards to play, and we can play it soon. We want to be one more science tag. Thank you. How's it going, man? Um, I don't know. We're we're only uh we're only one science tag away, but it's 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 certainly a valid point. Um. And we and we have card draw, which helps, and we're very incentivized to uh, to play science tags because we have the converter. But I mean, you're not you're not wrong. So I how mean, much? It's, it's like really annoying if you find like some good energy card that you want to play. Yeah. Something like Kubala or so that you mentioned. We have. And you don't have the energy to play it. We have a uh, six TR in hand and um, six heat, so one more space event, and we have uh, seven TR. <clears throat> yeah, it's sad that it doesn't have a. Uh... Oh, he he kept the space event. I still think the card is just like, it's very oh. efficient, right? Because like a, a one power Button production power. is is uh is worth seven, uh one point is worth five, and uh, the money production, which I don't know the value of, you, you just get a lot of a lot of upside out of that card. Four right. point five. You want to draw? Maybe we can also hit mining builds plants right now. I mean, I'm sure. okay. I'm okay with that because I I wouldn't mind taking the card and also getting the heat bump. But we'd, yeah, no, definitely. But, but we'd have to play arrow breaking, which tips our hand a little bit. That's like, like... Can you just uh, look at Mining Goat if he has a way to make a plant right now? Because he's sitting the four plants. He would... Uh, I don't 
think so. Uh, Ice Asteroid has been played. We have giant Ice Asteroid. Greenhouses doesn't do it. He can't play Heat Trapping. How else can you get? How yeah. else can you get four four plants? A uh, Dome Crater, but he needs reactions for that because he doesn't have an energy. Yeah. So I think it's safe to look at it far first. Yeah. Okay. I like don't even know if we want mine. <laughs> I mean, I think so. I I guess I like if, if we keep it's it's basically free for us. That would put us at eighteen cash. We would still have enough to do the air breaking comment. So I think we can take it. You good with that? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's still a pretty good play. We yes, it's fine. I mean, to steal anyway. It's Gen 4. Q's right. Like, Miner, technically even Builder is still in play. Um, Miner's in play. Uh, it I don't would, think we will get Builder. It would be good if, like, what's that science tag? Uh, Med Lab, if that comes around. So you want to arrow break and then hit him? Yeah. My biggest concern with arrow breaking is... Uh, I don't like playing it because then you're never seeing a space event again. But I think because the game is going pretty quickly anyway, space events are, are highly coveted. Yeah, but I mean they cannot they cannot take all the space events from you. Yeah, Q, you're you're totally right. Like there there are so many cards in this game that require steel, and so many of them are, are good. It's actually gotten to the point where I, I feel like I'm starting to value steel a little bit more than titanium, even though titanium is obviously worth more. There's just so many more uses for your steel. But I think uh, we yeah, need definitely. we need to get some more card draw going for that to uh, for that to be true. This game. I mean, Q makes a good point there. Like we only we only, we only have three steel production, so that comes one. Big steel card, and we got rid of all our steel, and then we only have reproduction. Yeah, it was capital. Okay. Interesting. Well, he's setting up a lot of plants. He's at six plants now. Yeah, we definitely want to hit him. That's a good time to hit him. You wonder if Big Asteroid got picked or hacked? Given the way this game is going, probably picked. Although, it's it's actually... No, it might have been hacked. It's very difficult for our opponents to play space cards because they're just not set up to do that. Uh, which energy card did he play? He played um, Nuke Power. The three and minus two cash. Oh, okay. He's he's basically out of steel. I mean, that was a good, ex good example. Like, he had 17 steel and immediately got rid of all of it i'm usually not a no. fan of, of playing a capital like that but um i think yeah, i either, think when but... you have that much steel yeah exactly and i think that probably signals that he doesn't have stronger plays but now like i mean purple and i are but we're both good players so i feel like we just we just fill out all of the oceans that don't touch capital especially because three of them give two plants and then the other two you get a card and cash out of it so i feel like it's going to be pretty easy to gimp that capital um, all right, time. We have enough, right? 18 plus 12. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. And we're hitting yellow, right? He's the only one to hit. You want to take the card here? Or do you want the plants? I think I think I, I would prefer the card. With, mm. with, with our economy. Um, and also, like... We have no way Actually, to make yeah. more... Oh, I guess we do have Giant yeah, Ice I mean, Asteroid. I think taking the plants isn't too bad. Well, if we take the plants now, and then we Because giant... we also get two cash from it. So we either can go for a card, or we can go for two plants and two cash, and two plants and two cash. It's just a lot better value. You want to take the you want to take the plants and the cash? And we have card draw, we have Giant Ice Asteroid. I'm okay with it, yeah. Because then if we play Giant Ice, we can take the next two plant spots. Um, yeah, I like two plants. Okay. So if we didn't get two cash, I think I would have gone for the card. Yeah, it's close. It's close. So so yeah, if we um, it's a shame we weren't able to keep Noctis farming because if we play Giant Ice Asteroid, we're gonna be at six plants. 
And you know how I feel about having six plants without any way to convert them. Yeah. We we could just giant ice and take um one card and four and four way. cash. Uh oh. It's a great card for him. We gotta get a greenery down so we can uh ideally gimp gimp yellow's capital even more with our eco zone. I feel like protected valley would be a pretty insane draw. Actually, I don't know if LG is that great at the moment, because there's still there's still a lot of plant hate off. It just it depends on what those like other four cards are. I mean, the good news is he played it without having decomposers down. He obviously doesn't have eco zone, so he's losing some value there. But if he has, uh, God forbid, if he has kelp farming, that's uh, that's really scary. Uh, Q, he played algae. Yeah, but but the point is, he's the first one to get plant production. That's true. Like, and the oxygen is still going up quickly. This enables a lot of uh, animal cards to eat plants, like eat plant production. Right, it's actually, it's actually not an animals, biomass combustors and so on. Well, and, and also, like, plants are just going to be inherently less valuable this game because the oxygen is going so quickly. Yeah, so that's why I'm actually not so afraid of the algae play. Could work out fully for me. And, uh, and next turn we have we have oh this is perfect we have position on him so we can we can hit six of his plants with giant ice which is <laughs> huge. No Q I I, um, uh, well, I know I know I've seen you stream like hundreds of games man I I know you're all about criticism and it, and it's very welcome here like you 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 feel free to criticize as much as you want as long as you don't be too much of a jerk about it which yeah uh, which I don't think you are oh and also we have this virus too. Um. We're done, right? We we don't. He's passed. We don't need to virus him now. We don't need to. Yeah, we're done. And we don't. Yeah, okay. Oh, and this is nice too. He he played uh, industrial zone um, next to yellow. I still I I actually don't know who our biggest threat is right now. I'm inclined to say Thorgate because he is uh, he's cranking oxygen. But um, we're gonna be in this weird standoff now on uh, on oxygen this gen. Right now, I'm not entirely sure if this game is going so quick because there's in total five heat production out, including the bonus one we got. The heat is certainly that's, gonna. That's not too much. Yeah, but if, especially if we open with giant ice, we're gonna that's seven oceans down, and the oxygen's going up. Like, I, I feel pretty confident this game's going to ten, but we'll see. Yeah, that, that's a good chance that, that it ends at gen ten. I'm a little nervous we play into kel I, I, kelp farming, but I don't know. I'm trying to figure out, like, what cards we're most excited about right now. I mean, obviously, like, if we could get an AI central going, which no one's ever going to pass to us, that's a pipe dream. Yeah. And Q's right. We, we do need to keep in mind that um, Big Asteroid is... May someone might have it. it. It obviously could have been buried, but... It just feels like this game we're all racing each other. Like no one's really trying to slow it down. And he also just played default heating into heat bump. This gen. So Insects is obviously really good. I think it's insects mm -hmm. here. Really? Or is it Mohol? That's that's actually what I'm thinking. Mohol is is effectively free. We're passing to Thorgate, who maybe cuts insects. Thorgate's probably not excited about insects because he's cranking. I mean, to your point, like, I, I don't think I don't think we can pass Mohol to Thorgate. I don't think we can let him have eight heat production. Q says urbanized over Mohol. I don't know about urbanized Q. I mean, it's a great card, but. As we just discussed, like plants are inherently less effective this game. And yeah. I, I don't think they are going to play a lot of cities. I, yeah, I, I kind of so agree. My mining good may play like another city to get like one more bomb to a steel, but might not. Mobile Gen Five isn't amazing, but we have a huge amount of steel. We could even put it next to Yellow's capital, which would be awesome. And 
Heat is really the only track that isn't uh, that doesn't have much influence on it. What the thing about Open OpenOS is, it is a Mayo threat. I guess, but like, Urbanize is really hard to play unless you're standarding cities, or unless we draw another city. Um, like my point is, for example, like imagine, imagine a mining goat picked up another city, then you can play like a city into Urbanize. He doesn't have a really good spot for it. If we think this game goes ten, if we think this, if we think this game goes ten, Mohol gives us what? Four times it gives us twenty heat, so it basically gives us two two points for for effectively free. I, I still like insects. To be honest. Really? Okay. Imagine the game we played yesterday. I, mean, I guess it yeah, is playable. Had, like, a few more plant attacks. But we we didn't we didn't get like a whole lot of points on the oxygen track, but still managed to get sixteen points on the board. We do we do have an eco zone, so we are we do want to take green cards. I mean, this is tough. I'm not sure if you're gonna keep it, but at least I mean it's, it's not very good for Thorgate. But imagine we take Moho and Thorgate picks Urbanized. I don't really want Mining Guild to have insects. Okay, so if we take insects and Thorgate plays Moho. Yeah, all right. Let's just let's take insects. At least my hole is just not like a super big threat. Got to take Marzi, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it colony ship is is incredible, but like we <laughs> we got to get the science tags before we can even play it. Master, and then then we play virus to stop mining go. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, we could. Uh, oh, you're saying if you if you don't want to. Oh, I guess we we might not have yeah, enough. Yeah, we cash. don't have the money. It's okay. We can only keep. But Master was pretty good. Really good pickup. Wow. I guess if if Thorgate does play Mohol, that's like his entire gen. And then Thorgate is is truly the one that's pushing pace, while we can kind of lean back and and. Uh, Get our science and our and our green cards down. Don't think we care about Saletta, right? Uh, we care about science decks. I know. I, I actually, I actually, I don't really like breeding filters, but it actually is 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 a keep here. I think because it's almost playable already, and. Um, yeah, definitely. It's our it's our it's our, it's our fourth science stack. Mass converter. And it and it cycles a card. I think we keep all the cards here. I think so too. I think we keep them all for for the sake of cycling. Yeah, exactly. We'll cycle hackers this garbage card. So that leaves us with twenty cash. We can we can look. We're gonna virus first probably, and then uh, we'll start looking at cards. You good with that? Yeah. Hey Q, what's going on with uh, Nate? Is he streaming today at all? You talk to him. <laughs> Hackers is is maybe my least favorite card in the game. I feel like the only time I'm excited to play Hackers is if it's Gen One in a two player game and I'm Thorgate and I have no other way to use my energy. That's like the one circumstance yeah. I will play Hackers. Well, I think it's slightly better than that, but not much better. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but yeah, it's a shame. I I miss Nate. He's he's a great streamer, and he he was one of the big reasons why I started streaming. Um, but it's it's nice to know that a smart, cool person like him is he's actually out there saving lives while we're playing a board game on the internet. I mean, it's it's not like he's gone. He's just playing less it's yeah that's true totally fine. i just I, f I feel bad for him i feel like he's gonna be, he are even pre-corona he was only streaming like once a week and now it's just so much harder for him i feel like wow they just left this up for us we have no way to get it that's so sad well i um, guess he didn't have an, have an option you want to just virus and pass i mean he did have an option like why did he do that it's kind of weird. We we now must virus so that yeah we definitely need to virus for sure. okay 
Maybe we can look at a card first. Sure. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Mm, I don't think so. Nah, it's too expensive, and we have Mass Converter coming soon. And we have one card to cycle. So. Yeah, I guess you're right, Q. We've we've been the recipient of hackers. A good you remember uh, me three eleven the uh, itbility that guy, that guy loved hackers. Yeah. He always used it against us, and it was so annoying. The worst is like getting hacked when you're Phobolog and you just have no money and like all of your assets are tied up in titanium. That happened yeah, to us. I, and it I once sucked. played a game with him and Mio. And you also play like Gen One hackers. <laughs> really did you get? Did he hack you or did he hack me out? No, he hacked me. Of course. Uh, that virus was really important, Druin. Also, hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Uh, because Mining Guild had six plants, and um, well, he's probably able to convert. Oh, just kidding. Not quiet. If he has greenhouses, although that would be a really sad greenhouses. Boy, oh, it, it it sure would be nice if we can if he if we can hold him off for the rest of the gen, and we can blow him up with giant ice asteroid. That would be nuts. All right, first milestones off the board. I guess we should check in on that, huh? Yellow's yellow's gonna take mayor, so we're, it's up to us to either get planner or terraformer probably. Um, let's play Mars U and cycle hackers, yeah. Yeah. The benefit of doing it now is also that we need to know whether we need to cut a card to keep a card for cycling next turn. Hmm, Cluster's not bad. Uh, pass. It's not bad, but... I mean, is not bad. a card that I'm usually excited about, but it is, it is playable and, and does things. The question is... Um, we probably don't play breathing filters. That's probably a little greedy. I think we um, we could just we could just play harvest maybe. I think we want to make sure that we have enough for giant ice asteroid next turn. Yeah, if we play harvest, um, that puts us down to uh, eleven, and we'll be making one plus twenty five. We'll be making twenty six, and I, we're definitely gonna have enough. I think. Thirty two. Yeah, you're right, Q. I, I don't think we play Callisto because we're we kind of need to play this giant ice asteroid. But we'll see what Yellow does. If Yellow converts the plants, giant ice asteroid becomes a little bit less valuable. Is it really that necessary to get like the one heat and the one money? You know, like I rather want the money. What are you talking? You talking about not playing Harvest? Yeah, I'm just thinking about it. 11, 11 and we're making 26. So we'd be at 36 cash and four titanium. So 36 cash plus four titanium is 48, which means we could still keep every single card in the draft and play giant ice. Wait, oh, he workforced, um, G he workforced, he workforced GHG. GHG, yeah. Which just I guess a fine play. I feel like it's like now or never on this card. I feel like we might as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with it. It does float power. That is that is the the, the downside. We could save it for um and wait for a card that uses power. Maybe maybe that's better. Now I'm second guessing myself. Yeah, it floats power, but... I mean, I don't know. Power turning into heat's good, though. The sooner yeah, we let... Does, 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 does Mining Guild have any power? If you no. Don't create a... My, Mining Guild does not have power. But, but he, he had power this gen, at the beginning of this gen. So That's I think true. we are sort of safe. Okay. I'm losing it very soon. Let's play it. Yeah, let's play it. Could backfire. 
Yeah, it could backfire, and that would stink, because he's highly incentivized to keep. Um, oh, man, he has five power tags. Good thing he didn't get power grid. Okay, nice. We dodged it. All right, so we are done, and yeah. next gen yellow will have uh, eight plants, so I think we bomb them. It looks pretty tough game for mining goods in a sense. Yeah, he's plants get wrecked all the time. He's he's we we're it's, it's we're owning like those plants. Shape. Quantum, just... easy quantum. I mean, Tundra's good too, but I think this is easy quantum. That's the energy tapping. Who who cares? I mean, like with when quantum comes online, then we can play breathing filters, mass converter, and have like all of the energy we could ever want. Yeah. Right. The only shame is that we're not going to be able to play this before giant ice, but whatever. You good with this? Yeah, sure. The cheap sign stack would be nice. I think um we even this is okay, but I think costly for what it does. I think the science tag I'm most excited about here is probably Olympus Conference or Med Lab. But I I don't think either of those come our way. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you're right. The good thing about fusion power is it's effectively free with uh, steel. Maybe that was correct. I don't know. I, I guess um, I just think space discounts are so valuable and, and having both of them is pretty insane. But maybe because the game is going so fast, maybe I should have thought about that a little bit longer. But then we would have passed... Who would we... We're passing down, so we would have passed it to uh, Mining Guild. I think they're both good. Wow. Filter Does it have an open city? I don't think so. Um... We don't have a lot of plant types. Yeah, open know. open city kind of sucks when we can't when we can't no, make it's, plants. It's, it's, it's kind of annoying to pass that card. Although it, it's it's kind of difficult for mining guild to play because he has all that steel, but he doesn't have any titanium. Yeah. While open city is kind of easy for him to play. I have a I have a, a sickening feeling in my stomach that we're getting all these strong plant payoffs and we're just not going to find the tags we need, but. I don't. I just feel like the upside of Open City is pretty low for us, unless we have plants. Yeah, let's take it. Not too rich. I mean, we do have arrow breaking, and we eventually. Well, and and, and we have uh, the space discounts. Yeah. Wow. These cards are ridiculous. I think it's birds. I think Io is too slow. I think Io is too slow, and, and it would be three. It would be I only feel, three yeah, Jovians. I like it's Jovian still. And Bird is just insanely good. <laughs> How insane is this which, draft? Which, 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 which cards did they keep? I I don't know, but I'm now really scared. I I think we're taking birds, right? Probably it's something like anti grav or something. No, anti grav at this point is. Is almost not, dare I say not even a good card because of how quickly the game is going. So when when if is we, we still don't have a good uh, way of getting the heat bomb. Do you want to keep energy tapping as a cycle card? I don't think we need to keep cycling cards. We have Callisto, which we're probably not gonna play. We have at this point I'm more I'm likely not even sure about you yeah. Kind of play his own insects and all that yeah, stuff. you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. So you want to keep these three, and then uh, and we're all uh, yeah. we're always opening with giant ice. Like we don't have time to get quantum down. We need to kill those plants, right? Yeah. I mean, there's still the heat bump on the line. What do we do about it? <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> the it only thing we make sense to buy a greenery, probably not. I mean, we could standard a greenery for um, 
Wait, 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 wait. Can we afford to standard a greenery and play a giant ice? So we can get five cash back if you play it in south. But this still costs eighteen. Wait, we could get we could get six cash back if we giant ice first and put the oceans up here and then standard a greenery. So that effectively costs um twenty three minus six. What's that? Seventeen. Yeah, but I mean you get the money back after we play the greenery. You get three money from playing. Um... Do you want to do that? Well, I, actually, but actually, we get a lot of money back from playing Giant Ice Asteroid. So we should consider doing that. So, so you, I, I'm saying Giant Ice Asteroid, the top two oceans, and then Standard and Greenery up there. We get seven money back. And we need 23. So the Giant Ice costs us effectively... It costs 36 minus 12 worth of titanium, so it costs 24. So 37 minus 24 is um, is 13, and then we get 7 back. So that puts us at 20, so it's not enough. Okay, I think if we didn't keep any cards, we would be pretty that short. Exactly. So I don't, I don't think it's viable. We have to play Giant Eyes right now. Yeah. So Somewhat I, unfortunate. So I think we just keep these three and we play Giant Ice. Yeah. Where do you want to play it now? That's that's the question. We we could take um we could take four yeah, plants we... and try to be greedy. Problem is if we sit at four plants, we're pretty likely to, to get killed eventually. But so if, I think for ca taking four cash in the card seems better. Yeah, but then we're set, we're setting. Some, I guess if someone else standards a greenery up there, it's or no one can standard a greenery up there. They all have um they all have tiles down, so I think we're safe to do that. Let's yeah. do it. Or yellow. Do you want a heat bump as well? I guess we can just wait. Yeah, we can wait on one. Do you want to look at a card now? We don't. We don't. We can't really play any other cards this gen. So I think, I think, uh, oh, we got beam. I think we can just look. Yeah. It's probably a no go. I mean, we could play it. Actually, are are we concerned about thermalist getting funded? I mean, purple. Purple certainly might fund that. Maybe, I think we keep it actually. Yeah, maybe, maybe we, we do. It's it's awkward, but um. Yeah, we we have all that steel. And yeah. It's Gen six, so it does something. We gotta get terraformer, man. We could consider just playing nitrogen rich without having the tax. I, I was actually just thinking that it's like, it's the saddest thing in the world to do that. But you're still getting three TR, and we have air breaking in play. And actually, by the time we consider doing that, we ideally get these science tags down. Yeah, exactly. Was the point. So I think and I think it's, it's actually okay. Hey, private, you're here. Uh, Q summoned you earlier because we drew hackers and he wanted you to appear for us to play it. Sadly, we did not play hackers, but uh, it was funny. And what's up, Survivor? Good to see you in here. Survivor, I think you're like one spot below me on the leaderboards, right? Aren't you like number 14 or 15? Got to play against you sometime. I mean, as of now, we got... Uh, like we destroyed 14 mining guilds plants. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty. Mining guilds gotta be livid. I still have no idea who's winning this game. I think I think Teractor Teractor is because they have a milestone and are and are basically generating two TR per per gen. Oh, he standarded it. Okay. But now he's sitting at four plants again. Mm -hmm. Six plants next gen.
We have eight cash. Can mm. we fund anything? Probably not. I don't think so. No. Definitely not. Um, heat bump? Heat bump, yeah. Or actually, we could we could use our power first, maybe. No, no one's going to take our power. I mean, but at the same time, heat bumping potentially turns on plant cards, right? So well, it turns on it turns on Eos Chasma. I don't think anyone's going to play that way. Why are you so confident no one's going to take our power? I mean, because... if you if we're always playing this this gen, why not just play it now? You know. Oh, because of heat trappers. Oh, heat trappers. Fine, you've convinced me. Can't play around everything. Why did he not take? Havanis Mons. Uh, well, maybe he doesn't need the titanium. He, I think he values having an even number of plants so that he can take another two plant tile to open the gen and then get another greenery. Is is my guess? No, he has Noctis. Oh, also, oh, also Noctis. Yeah. We, we, we passed it earlier. He, he almost certainly has Noctis. We did, we did pass that earlier, yeah. So, I mean, like buying greenery, greenery wouldn't have been that bad, actually. Yeah, we... it turns on our... He goes in. Yeah, we just, we just didn't have the money. Which we, we we're like, still, still struggling. I'm now actually, like... I'm now actually thinking that Open City may have been better. Why? Well, because to... I guess I guess it's our only titanium dump right now. We have like a couple of Jovians, which we are, which we are probably not going to play. Yeah, I don't think the Jovians are worth like, it at this point. It, it seems too late for both of them. We're not making quite enough titanium, and also we don't have like alloys. Uh, and I think I think we're just we need to use our titanium to terraform at every opportunity. Well, the only thing that makes them worth it is that we have a uh, four discount. That's true, Q. I mean, dis discounting it by four and having arrow breaking is, is kind of nuts. We and just, we just... Nitrogen rich is, is definitely more dangerous. Do I still think it'll go to Gen 10? Okay, there's AI. A little scary. Yeah, but but the game is going so fast. The, this game might end on nine. This is this is crazy. Eight is a little ambitious. Um, I could see it ending on nine though, especially if we get like demos here. Yeah. I'm just really concerned at our ability to score points though. Is my is my problem. Birds is huge. Like, finding Viral Enhancers would be nice, I guess. Um, we still have a lot of steel. We, yeah. We're not able to spend yet. Thorgate has but two. On the other hand, there, there are no, like, big steel cards that give, like, a lot of points. Text stress is great. Plantation is also great. What? Well, I mean, it's a steel dump, but the energy production doesn't do a whole lot. Maybe, maybe plantation's, plantation's better. Plantation's better because we can, um, it turns on Ecozone and we, we can put it up here. We are going last, which stinks, but, uh, plantation and effectively turn... costs 18 minus 6 if we get this, but it costs 12. Yeah, and it also helps us to, to be able to play Ecozone. You want to take this one? And it's a tag for insects. Druin, I don't think it's ever power infrastructure because this game is going way too fast and we really need to score points. Um, I have actually really warmed up to power infrastructure as a card. Um, if this game was going a lot slower, it would be pretty dang good. But not but not right now. Not, not for the pace of this game. Go 
Good thought, though. We are passing it to, uh, to Thorgate. So Thorgate has the opportunity. Thorgate could, like, fund Thermalist and just start selling energy and slow the game down with AI, which is really scary. That's why yeah, I'm well. three rankings ahead of you. I don't know about that. What were you going to say, Filter? <laughs> well, I mean, power infrastructure is, first of all, it's broken. Yeah. And second of all, he needs to spend cash to get like, a little bit of cash. Like, he's still <laughs> using four energy every gen. I don't think it's good for him. I, I was so furious yesterday because I had power infrastructure, and there were multiple times when I couldn't use it, and I was so mad. Uh, yeah. ooh, ooh, these are all good. Um, wow, these are all quite is it good. Grand City here, or is it Moss? I, well, I, dude, I, I'm, I'm kind of on the probe train. Probe turns on. Probe. probe turns on our. <laughs> That's kind of funny. But they're all good. All of these cards are good for us. They're so, all yeah. very, very good. Um, so Immigrant City is a is, is a cheap city. Moss is another plant tech, which helps us with. Or nitrogen rich and insects and eco zone. It might, I, I don't like the, the probe here too much. You, honestly, because like, you, you don't these, need the science tech right now. Well, these, these cards are actually point. rapidly losing their value. So, so maybe having the two plant tags is better and we just try to get the nitrogen down. So, so we have three tags in principle, but if we get plants, isn't it better to get immigrant city? Uh, you know, Immigrant City is is damn good. We still don't have a use for our steel, and I, I couldn't imagine like a better use for our steel than having like a cheap city. So the question is, do you value the plant tag of moss um, to get our third plant tag for nitrogen and insects? Yeah, I mean, of course. Or or do you value the thing about immigrant though is that if we don't get moss online, <clears throat> it's harder for us to get our plants going. That's true, but we have at least plantation. I guess I, I guess um we could open by playing immigrant into plantation. We lose we lose one spot because of purple's thing here. And actually, we have a two point spot for it even because we can play it next to the greenery and place of the greenery on the steel. Oh, I hate this decision. Um. The thing about Moss is we're basically playing it just for a tag. It, it has very little impact. We're basically playing seven for a tag. And maybe like two plants. What does Chad think? Scientist is, is tight. Yeah, Q, private. What do you guys think? This is so hard. Um... I mean, Transneptune Probe doesn't have like a huge impact either. It's just a point. Well, Transneptune well, Probe is cycle as well. It cycles it, and it, it it's pretty good. It yeah. turns on these cards. And there's probably maybe a world in which we get anti-graph. And we're passing this to the AI player. I don't know, man. Immigrant City is like. So, so what is what is best for them? We're gonna pass to Thorgate. Thorgate probably takes probe. So the thing about Moss is, it's it's not good for them. It's not good for them at all. So that that makes me not pick Moss because it's only good for us, not good for them. I feel like because this game is well, going is going so quickly, yeah. this might be like a a game where we don't even care about cities because we don't have time and we just want to get the greenery points. Yeah, but I mean, look at it. It's it's kind of like the city which is. Pretty more or less. Yeah, yeah, but how many? We have all that steel, and it's pretty cheap anyway. How many greeneries do you expect to surround with this? You know, we can try it. I I'm so split. It's really hard to make a decision here. We we can try immigrant. But we're basically feel like if you get plant production, it may get hated. So we have at least. That's split. true. All right, I'm it's, taking. It's especially I'm... if mining goes. I'm taking it. Yeah. Probably expedition. I don't think it's ice cap. Yeah. 
Do you want to open with immigrant um, northwest of purple's tile into plantation? I, I I think it's it's fine to do that because I think the odds of us surrounding that city with greeneries are pretty low at this point, and that gives us two very strong greenery spots. Yeah, the the other consideration was to play it next to Yellow City. That's actually a good point. Do we ever keep mining expedition? It's a good thought. I think, so, I yeah. think it might be too expensive. We still don't have great use for for the steel. Funny, power infrastructure came back. But um, power infrastructure is harder to get value out of now because um, we didn't take probe. I think I think we can take these two, and I think. Well, I mean, we're gonna play. We could play immigrant. We, we, we could play immigrant. Play mass converter this gen. No. To, to play mass converter, we'd have to play breeding filters. We'd have to play filters, extractor, converter, which we could do. Yeah, I thought, I thought this was our turn. What else do you want to play? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I wanted to play plantation. I think we can play it next gen. Okay. You want to take these then? I'm not too strongly about mining expedition. I don't want it. I think it. I think it's. I think it's way too expensive, and and the bump is already gone. So let's take these two. Yeah. Drew and we do have all the tags we need in hand. It's just ugh, playing this piece of crap. I guess it's not. It, it's not a piece of crap. I mean, it's two points and it's a tag, but um, it, it, it's actually not much worse than gene repair. We, we don't get the two money production, but the two money production is not yeah worth a whole lot anymore. Do you like putting immigrant down east of Yellow's greenery and southeast of Noctis? Um, Mining Goat is also sitting at six plants, so he might play another greenery. Yeah, I think it's very likely Mining Guild plays a greenery right now. So yeah, I guess you're right. I guess we could wait and see where he puts the greenery. He he could just double greenery right now. Mining Guild also needs to lock up Mare. Uh, we have to be careful about losing both Mare and Gardener. Uh, yeah, so there's yes. the greenery. Oh, he plays it there. That's interesting. Purple could get a uh, planner next gen. Well, they'd have to take the whole gen off, basically. Oh, he's got AI. Yeah, he's and now he's one card away. We, we may get swept on milestones, and that's not good. Um, You want to look at a card? Yeah. How much cash do we need to play this? 11 plus 13 is uh, 24 plus 8 is 32. So we can't even buy this card if we want to play um, play everything. We may look at the card regardless. Yeah, okay. That's crap. Okay. Skip? Yeah. So what is the alternative, though? I mean, there isn't really one. I don't think we're playing. There's we, no... we could play birds this gen. I, I think we just I, I... like if we, we could play plantation birds. Here, here's the thing, though. If if we get all the science down, we get three cycles for one, uh, and for two, we have ten energy that converts to heat, which helps us get a few more points on that heat track, and also helps a lot with thermalist. Yeah, and also I don't like playing birds without having eco zone down. Yeah, I agree. So which cards do we cycle? The, the Jovian. The Jovian. I think we cycle the the both the Jovians. Yeah. And then maybe one of the cards we. And then ins to. insects is probably next on my chop list because its its window is closing. Yeah. That really is not good about the milestone, though. I I guess um. Oh, okay. Uh oh, that's probably mayor. Yeah, he takes mayor and purple takes planner, and there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, we can't toast on milestones. This is an award we can get. 
Not really. No. Scientist, maybe. Yeah, he's playing with them. Yeah, we can't. I mean. Although, I mean, he's, he's pretty cash strapped. He's cash strapped, yeah. yeah. Let's do our science play. We Yeah, yeah, alright. I'm gonna play filters and cycle a Jovian. Uh, it's four to four now on scientist, I believe. Yeah, four four one. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pass. Are you good with that? Yeah. So we'll play it, I guess. My three mile run I just finished was faster than this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a long hard game. I mean, actually, it's not a long game. It's long duration it, wise. It's not, yeah, it's, it's not a very fast play one. This doesn't look good. I I haven't given up hope yet. I don't think we're in a in a a dire dire position, but um, those oh, we found landlord. That's interesting. Getting smoked on the awards doesn't help. Well, he's six tiles. We have none yet. It's gonna be hard to catch up. Uh, at least we have some tiles, so we might get second then. Yeah. Yeah, we have Immigrant, we have Plantation, we have Ecozone. Magnetizer, wow, okay. Alright, uh, Quantum. Yeah. And let's cycle Callisto, I guess, or Security Fleet, probably. Security Fleet. I think we have them, but... Oh my gosh, that's a huge, oh, that's nice. a huge pickup. Nice. It's a huge pickup. So now we basically have that ocean. Uh, actually, we might not have the ocean because purple has two now. Well, he would have to have like lava flows and nuke zones already been played. I think he would have to have, in next next gen, he's only gonna have 14 heat. So if he bumps twice now, shoot, maybe he does have it. Anyway, we're playing converter for sure, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so I could the other Jovian. Yeah. Callisto. Actually, over insects? I think so. I guess, like yeah. We, we have targets for our titanium. And yeah. It's only two points. We don't have any multipliers. Energy saving. It's not, not helpful. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is the kind of game for sure, McLeod, where um, the milestones are very valuable because it's going so fast. I can't decide if we're getting this heat bump or not. It looks like, I guess it. I guess it all depends on if he has lava flows. So do you want to play? I don't immigrant? think we have a choice, do we? He's out, he's out of cash. He doesn't have any cost cost reduction whatsoever. Do you want to hold him? So I think he, he. I think I think he's done anyway. Well, I'm saying he can open with Lava Flow's heat bump and take it. Yeah, but what, what can we do about it? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want to play Immigrant or no? You can wait on this, right? I think we can wait. It technically yeah, lo it wait. loses us one cash if we play it now. Yeah, and there might be a battle spot coming up. I gotta use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Sure.
All right, sorry about that. Uh, Cliff farming. Uh, what about Valley? I guess I mean Kelp's a better card. Um, <laughs> sorry, Druid. Yeah, actually, Protected Valley is pretty good for mining go. Protected Valley. Yeah, but it's it's good for us too because we could put our immigrant there, so maybe we're okay with that. Because I assume yeah, he, I assume he, he's he putting it like, next to Noctis. Yes, I agree. Insane amount of plants. Uh, yeah. Is the game ending this gen? It could. Yeah, may, actually, it may end this gen. We we have an insane amount of steel. May, maybe we do just take it. So we have 32. But if we take Protected Valley, then where do we put our Immigrant? Could save steel and fund Miner. Nah, it's too risky. Mining Guild also has 16 steel and is outproducing us. But he has Noctis. So if we Protected Valley... I think we let... I think we gamble. I think we we, we hope that he... He's going to take this for sure. And I, I don't think he puts it next to his capital. I think he puts it here, plays Noctis, and then we capitalize. I think that's fine. Why do you want to take kelp farming? Because it's... Well... I mean, like, it's, uh, it's yeah. if it's between these two cards, I feel like I just explained why. Because these aren't, I feel like, a consideration. No, but look at mining gold. Yeah, but like, aren't we? Yes, aren't we? Con cash and steel. Y yeah, I know, I know, but aren't we convinced that mining guild? I'm saying we want him to play it because we can benefit from it. Like, he, sure, he how, he. how do we benefit from it? It's, it's three with, points for him, and the game ends. With immigrant. Much. Like we put. I get. I mean, you're, to to your point about kelp farming, we we can't really afford to play it, so may, we could just take protected valley. I think I think we could um we could open by playing immigrant into valley because we're not going to be able to play immigrant if he plays Noctis, which I kind of forgot about. Yeah, I'm I actually think I actually think that's quite good because then um we get two plants, we get the cash back, we can then play our eco zone. I I kind of like that play. I also like opening with Demos. We get so the thing we, is we could the actually game may end this gen. Right, we could open with Immigrant Demos. And then save Protected Valley. Because no one knows we have it. Oh, we just don't play Demos this gen. Uh, it just depends if you want that ocean or not. Don't we have to take as many of the terraforming points as possible to have any chance of winning this? I mean, I sort of like Protected Valley better than Cow Farming. But I, guess I, once... I do too. Once a time we get, we have the plants. The oxygen is max. Trees. Yeah, uh, are we gonna are we gonna play that card? No, but it's the only good card here. I mean, we take it for sure. But... That's a that's yeah, a really a it's a tough question. I I feel like we're in a really awkward position because. Purple is probably outscaling us with um with AI. Although purple doesn't have a lot of cash. Not sure if purple is outscaling us. Then. We we just we don't have a good win condition because all of our win conditions are dependent on like like getting a big plant production and having the game go longer. And I just don't think there's enough time to do that. This is kind of crappy that this game went so incredibly fast. Yeah. Didn't really help us, even though we had a good start. Yeah, good. Well, we gotta we gotta figure out. Um, God, steelworks. I don't think it matters. I don't think we play mm -hmm. this. It gives us one oxygen bump, and that's a big maybe. Let's just cut it. If you're cool with that. Yeah. Although it's not not that expensive. So like 
the, the reason I like Demos is it gives us a notion and it gives us four steel, which we now have two strong targets for. If we don't take it, purple probably does. Although I, I guess um, if purple doesn't take the heat bump right now, it, it probably doesn't get taken. But I expect purple to take the ocean right now. De Demos it... hits five plants here, which is strong. There might be also a mangrove out there. Yeah, but that's going to come down no matter what, right? Yeah, but it only comes down. We're taking this because it's, it's, it's effectively free. Trees is pretty expensive. I think the cards we really want to play this gen are Immigrant. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't, I don't think we, I don't think trees is worth it. I think we want to play Immigrant. Yeah, I think we skip trees. I think we want to play like Immigrant, Plantation, Ecozone, maybe Demos. Uh, I think we have so much to do. And bir and of course, oh, yeah, of course, birds. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's enough time to play trees. Yeah, that's only take quality then. <sighs> yeah, and we have three tags without trees if we want to play the nitrogen rich, which we might. No, yellow has two, or purple has two, and yellow has one. So purple might get the bonus ocean. I think we're going to be in good shape to take second, at least, oh, in he doesn't. Landlord. He doesn't. So it's it's Demos then, right? Like. Yeah, for sure. Which which ocean do you want to take? The um, I guess we have to take the two plant ocean, on the on the far right because we don't want to help his capital and we want to save that spot for protected valley, right? Um. I think I think we go. I think we go Demos Immigrant City, and we put the Immigrant City east of Noctis's or uh, southeast of Noctis, and then we're set up to play Valley. Yeah. Yeah. You good with that? Yeah. And then, um, and then I think we play our city. Yeah. Yeah. Can we put it, uh, you're, you're good with putting it here? East of the greenery? Yeah. You guys were totally right about Immigrant City. Probe would have been a terrible pick there. Uh, and Moss... Moss definitely would have been a bad pick too. I think that was definitely the right the right play. Question is, can we afford eco zone and birds? Probably not. Protected Valley is basically free and gives us cash back. I so wish. I think we play Protected Valley and then eco zone. Where do you want to put eco zone? We can get two plants and two cash. No, we can only get two plants. Actually, wait. Um, we could also get a card. If we can get four cash back from EcoZone, I think we can play EcoZone and Birds. Oh, wait, hang on. If we if we overpay on Protected Valley and we put it here, we're at 18. And then, yeah, this costs 22. So we would need to find a way to get four back from EcoZone, which we currently can't do. Uh, should we consider funding the list? I, I don't I, think so. I don't like that play. I think, I no, think we, we have, have we have valuable cards in our hand that are more valuable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. I hate not getting the award at eight. You get a greenery with cash back. Yeah, but actually, we're not like in a bad spot for a landlord, so I don't see us winning it. But at least we want to get second. What do you What do you guys mean? You get greenery with. You get a greenery with cash back. I mean, Protected Valley puts us at seven plants. E 
Eco zone has to go next to any greenery. Oh, I see. Okay, so we go um we go protected valley and then we play eco zone next to that and then greenery next to that and then birds. So it go Yeah, you'd go valley, eco zone, greenery. We can also look at the card still. The problem Q with putting, oh, you can put the the greenery right of Immigrant City. Yeah. So let me make sure that math is right. So Protected Valley nets us two cash, which puts us at 18. Then we play Eco Zone for 12, and we put it up here, uh, and it effectively costs 10. So we're at um. We're at a uh, we're at eight cash, and then we play a greenery here, which puts us at ten cash, and then birds. Yeah, so it, it works. We we of course can also look at a card, but I feel like the card would have to be pretty dang good because that seems like a pretty strong play in my opinion. I do do you agree with that line filter? I think I think it's pretty strong. Um. Can you explain exactly? You... Yep. So we do? we pay for Protected Valley entirely with steel. We put it here, which puts yeah. us at um, 18 cash and 7 plants. We yeah. then play Eco Zone for 12, which puts us at 6. But we put it northeast of the, um, the Eco Zone, Two. which puts yeah. us at 8 plants and uh, 8 cash. We then play the Greenery next to our city, which puts us at 10 cash and lets us play Birds. Yeah. That way we get eco zone down before birds. That seems pretty good. Hey, I had that line. I mean, we we could still get stopped. I almost want to the card. I almost want to do it before looking you at You should a definitely card. wait on the heat bumps because it turns on cards like like the ice cup melting still out there and mangrove ah. and stuff. Uh -oh. oh, see, if he puts this here, we're ruined. Uh. Yeah. We're still playing Valley this game, I think. But now we can look at a card, at least. Yeah. How many heat bumps are left? No one has has one. I think we. Nah, uh, we're too cash short. No, actually, we're not. We can still make the play, but it costs us a point. Thank so you. We, can, we can play the, the greenery in the corner and play. Um, oh. Eco zone on the two plant spot and two cash back. And then we have enough plants to play another greenery next to our city and get four cash back. You're saying, you're saying a valley next to the capital? And then. Oh. No, no. Uh, in far right. Oh, far right. Oh, at, at oh right. Of, oh, right, right. At, at the edge of the board, and then. And then eco zone. Eco zone next to the yellow city. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. But we can look at a card first. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess we have time. Nope. And then. Do you want to just play it, or do you want to wait? Or do you want to take a heat bump? I guess we don't want to get to four. No, no. Four, four is too scary. Uh, definitely not a heat bump. Um, Let's play it. Okay. Overpay. Yeah. yeah. Far right, yeah. yeah Far right. Yeah, we don't want to touch capital. Oh, we had six plants. Yeah, so now we, we play uh, Eco Zone into Greenery and pray that our plants survive. But I think our plants are pretty safe at this point. Like, Virus is gone, and um, I think we have to dodge Big Asteroid, and he might he may have kept Big Asteroid, which would which would be painful, but... I don't think it's a great play for him right now. Although this would screw us up. 
We're still, but we're short though. We can't play birds if we do this line. Oh, oh, right. If we get the greenery down, we can. I see. Yeah. Yeah, because we get six cash back in total. Yeah, yeah. And we need twenty-two to play both of them. Uh, so if if we um if we aren't gimped at all, I will I will play eco zone into eco zone next to yellow's capital and then greenery um, to the right of our city. Uh. Yeah. He has mangrove now as well. Man, what a brutal what a brutal gen. Now I think so we, we now I think we take the heat bump to make sure we get it. Yeah, definitely. And now we we probably just have to play birds without uh, the eco zone. I'm just gonna heat bump and pass. What about plantation? Yeah. Plantation is uh, is a consideration that gives us. Plantation basically costs eleven, so we have five cash, and then we can sell uh, sell four cards. We're still short. Or do we find them less? Well, fourteen. I think it's pretty safe, actually. If we fund Thermalist, can we still heat bump? Probably. We're going to end at uh, 4 plus 10. We're going to end at 18 heat. And Valedictorian is going to end at, uh, what's that, 9 plus 5, 14. I mean, that's a four, that's a four point edge. But we have. Um, no breaking. I'm not sure if it's better to do that or just end or just uh or just end the game. Are we winning if the game ends? Probably not. We'd have um we'd have 4 points on the ground plus 5 VP is 9 plus 35 no milestones. God, this is so bad. How, how many points do they have? Yellow has 31, 34, um, plus uh, 4 on the ground. So that's 38. Can Thir we get second? 38 plus 5 is 43, plus 5 is 47, I think. We have 35, 40, 41. And if we get second on landlord, that's forty-three. So we're back a few points. Purple has twenty-three, thirty-three. Purple's losing. Purple has thirty-five points. Purple's losing badly, actually. But well, purple has two milestones. Oh, did I do? Oh, I yeah, I did my no, no, just kidding. I did. I was off by ten. Purple is actually winning. Purple has forty-five. I think we are losing. We're losing by four really? to both players, I think. But we're going to get four points if you play Plantation. Then we are of cash. Plantation and Heat Bump is worth... Um, Plantation's worth three and Heat Bump is worth four. And then, yeah, we're, we're toast. But does it get any better if we wait one gen? I don't think so. We might as well end it. Yeah. I don't I don't think there's a winning line here. Problem of, the problem is Ecozone is just not great. Great next gen. Insects comes up too late, nitrogen rich is just too late. Birds is only one point if you played next gen. Thirty-one plus so thirty-four thirty-nine 39 plus 5 is 43, plus 1, 2, 3, 4. I think they're both tied at 47, and we're like, we just don't have a way. I, 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 let's, just, let's just end it. End this mess. <laughs> there's, 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 no, there's no better line. Like, I... Oh, gosh. This has been like... 
I think it's like the fastest game I've ever played, ending in Gen 8. Yeah, I've, I've never in my life played a three-player game that ended on Gen 8. <laughs> Boy, what a sad game. Wait, did you count two points from second place in the world? Um, I think I did. I'm not, I'm not sure what we did wrong. So, so maybe like the quantum into mass converter didn't seem that strong since the game ended on that was a, Gen oh, Eight. That was that was a misplay. Oh, fucking Gen Eight. Yeah. We, we we could see that it's ending quickly, but Gen Eight, like come on. I I, I've to, never I... had a, a game that ended in Gen Eight. So I've had a, a couple of games that ended Gen Nine. Have I mentioned Zugzwang before on this stream? I think that's a German word, right? Zugzwang? I don't know. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Do you know that word? Uh, what? Say it again. Zugz Zugzwang? I have to look this up so I don't sound like an idiot. Zugzwang. Zugzwang. I think it's a German. What? Yeah, it's, a German, a German, it's German for... It moves... Uh, Zugzwang, I guess is how you say it in German. It's a compulsion to uh, move. Yeah. Uh, Zugzwang, yeah. Which in chess okay. means... <laughs> Every move you make is a losing move. And that's kind of how I felt about playing Demos. It's like, it's the best <laughs> thing we can do, but it loses us the game. Yeah, and that ocean was... At that time, it didn't seem that good because there were, there were two oceans left. We were negative eight or negative 10 degrees. So if just someone played one ocean, this, this card would be dead. But they does, still kept it. Does insects give us anything? Gold. Insects gives us uh, two plants. Great value out of it. I'm just gonna sell all the cards and there's no way we make money, right? Like we don't have um we don't have rover construction down. There's there's no way we can uh, <laughs> we're one cash short of birds. Uh. Uh, it's only one point. Yeah, we're we're toast. Sure if one point saves saves us anyway. Uh. I felt so good uh, with that start. Turns out strip mine isn't as good of a card when the when the game goes eight gens and there's a mining guild in the game. Oh, yeah, God. and another another problem was we never had like a great chance at getting builder, and we just had like. A lot of seed production, but we couldn't get like very great use out of it. So protected value was 26 cash for two points, so we could use the steel for it, and we still have steel. But also. I'm I'm trying to think like what like big mistakes we made. I think going down the mass converter route may have been a mistake. I, I think so. It was just too slow at that point. I'm trying. Yes. What did we What did we take eco zone over? I guess not taking Dome Crater was a mistake, or not Dome Crater, um, Open City. I don't think so. I mean, it's like what two points. I think we like do two, two points into plants and maybe a little bit of cashback. Uh, we, we we took nitrogen rich over that. I think we were both playing for a 10 gen game because we, we did correctly identify that the game was going to go fast. I think we both severely underestimated how fast it was going to go. It turns out science isn't nearly as good in the uh, in a game that goes to eight. How many cards did we even play? Four or eight, 16. <laughs> we played 23 cards this game. We have 31 tags. 20. Thorgate has only 21 tags. And Mining Guild has 19. That's nuts. How, how much do we have? We had 31. We played so many more cards than the other players, and we and we still got third. Yeah, we played too many production cards, I believe. Like, I mean, strip mine is three cards altogether. I, I still don't regret the decisions we made in that opening hand, though. For the, for the Corp and the hand choice, I think that was totally fine. We just happened to run into oh, no. oh, two oh, aggressive was, Terraformers. Was great. 
I mean, we, we also didn't keep a lot of cards from the Elf Nose, which was a good choice as well. Frank, you're sleeping on Thorgate. Thorgate got um, an O2 bumper out on Gen 2 and basically uh, cranked it the whole game. I think for so any players, he played, he played, look at this. He played, he played 14 cards. That's nuts. Yeah, the thing that hurt us was that we didn't get a milestone. Uh, oh, I don't for see, sure. Like, like, like which milestone were we supposed to get? This is such a, a tight, clean like, game by Thorgate. Look at these cards, like all building tags. Most of them have power tags or use power. Uh, it, it's just, this is like, this is beautifully efficient. I am in awe of the cards that Thorgate was able to play this game. This is this is so good. Yeah, but I mean, you need to have these cards in the beginning. Yeah, of course. So I mean, with, if I'm looking at attack, uh, death center, and we we played um, some amazing cards. They're just not plan. not good for a longer game. I think we set up for long game pretty well i mean i guess target i think we're set up better than target because our production is better we have like a ton of energy we have the space discounts yeah we i mean have ai but, but i think because our production is so much better i mean if this game goes to 10 we get our nitrogen down with four plant production we get an eco zone yeah, down we, we have exactly. we have scoring threats for sure I don't know for for anyone watching this game either now or later my biggest takeaway is like when you see this card come down early or or anything like it the game got like one or two generations shorter this card speeds up the game so fast yeah but not not necessarily I, like the game this like the reason this game went so fast is because target got quite a bit of heat production and we were all terraforming with we events. Also, we, we also got some heat production. And we played arrow breaking and all the events plus nuke zone. We played Comet, we played nuke zone, we played... Uh, I still Giant stand by my assessment, though. Most. Like, this, these oxygen yeah, bumpers have, have s such a big... Like, what cards have more of, of an impact on the pace than these, right? Like... I feel like the oxygen track is generally the hardest track to fill up because good plant engines take a long time to come on. Like good plant engines come online in the mid game. Um, whereas heat, it's very easy to crank early and oceans are very easy to crank early. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what we pit. Like I do remember Q that our arrow breaking draft was strong. I don't. I don't remember. But we got pretty good value out of arrow breaking. Astro yeah, mining was the other card, and I think Astro mining would have been pretty bad for us this, yeah. this game. Because I mean, it's just two points, and we would have taken all of our early cash. We we did only play three space events with arrow breaking, which I mean, also, three is good for arrow breaking, but also inventor skill was a little bit slow for nine for an eight gen game. I think in an agent game you don't want to play cards like an just skill. Yeah, but like at the time, we're obviously yeah, not thinking it's an eight gen game. But I mean, we spent twelve cash for that and it didn't do much other than we could play like quantum extractor and Nazi converter. Yeah. But, like these come these cards came to late as well. We so we they didn't do a whole lot. We I feel like we did a pretty poor job using our steel, but again steel was was heavily contested yeah yeah well, hindsight I'm is sure 20 we should have done different so I, th I think our first gen looks pretty obvious in gen 2 we even went for getting out vesta immediately mm -hmm. which is what you want in a short game mm -hmm. so i think was the right decision as well and then mining guild places two oceans and cards and steel I, i'm kind of reflecting back and thinking like maybe we i feel like we correctly identified that plants were going to be a lot less 
impactful in this game and i don't think we really followed through on that insight like we could have just taken open city um we could have picked something instead of insects i i forget what we picked insects over we have to go back and watch well but i'm not sure why do you think that open city would have been great i mean it would have been I guess it would have been two points, which is better than no points. But uh, we did use yeah, but, but we did use our but steel. It's, but it's two points for twenty six cash. And we don't have like we have four cash left. That's yeah. Good. I mean, Q's assessment is not is not inaccurate. Like to capitalize on that arrow breaking we 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 played a lot of terror i think at the at the time though we were thinking those terraforming cards would lead us to terraformer and then these guys just like zipped ahead to take like the ai central got him four cards for planner man yeah it was also ai central ai central gen 6 which is pretty early i mean not very early but it's it's okay if, we get if to the game had gone longer Dog, it would have been in a great spot. As yeah. Well. It's okay. We get to follow this game up with a, with a trivial opponent. The number four ranked player. <laughs> so I, I think my assessment is that in these like very, fa very fast games, um, it, it's like really luck dependent. Because yeah. it all comes down to play the good, good, good cards as early as you can. Yeah. Well, if you look out at our Gen One, uh, I feel like we, we were kind of like a favorite, but then, yeah, not not necessarily because Torgate. If you look then at Torgate's Gen Two, then you might think, yeah, probably Torgate is winning this. Let's see how much money they saved on. So that's nine off. <sighs> I think Torgate is winning. Is yeah, it? Torgate wins. Nine. Four. So he played five power tags, so he effectively got a, a rebate of 15. Yeah, but wave power was just eight cash for a point. So I wouldn't count that one. Yeah, but Q, you see the problem with those other two cards. Like, Big Asteroid just does exactly what you, you called us out for. And uh, and yeah, like the Jovians would have been so bad in this game because it ended ended fast. I guess if we t if we go the Jovian route, the game probably goes one generation more, maybe two. Um, maybe that was a better line, but uh, it just didn't feel We're very good at the time. Huh? I'm not sure if that would help much. So actually, one thing that matters also a lot is we, we hit yellow quite a lot by hitting his plants because we kind of play those space events. And he also took one greenery from us. Pretty annoying. Yeah, I'm impressed with them. Um, I mean, we hated on yellow so much. We killed, what, 14 plants? Was that the calculus? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That was a tight, tight game. But as a side note, how, how many how many earth tags did we play? Did we didn't play a single we didn't, earth tag? We didn't did play we? a single earth tag. So that's kinda of like another issue. We didn't have like great synergy. We could have gotten an investment loan, but apart from that, we haven't seen many good earth tags. Yeah, Oof. I, I thought he had to go up this by a little bit more. Well played, Miko Land. That was. He forgot to add a fish. That was um, certainly one of the most memorable, memorable games I think uh, I will ever play. Yeah, 